Um, <coughs> so you are heading to Havendorf, which is a couple of hours south of Diesdorf. And the weather is starting to turn and get quite shitty. It's the moon Moors Liebes, the largest in the sky that it's it, you've seen it. Um, and it's bad one of the always means bad things are happening when you're traveling. I yep. said it started, it started raining, yeah. It's, it's just it's, it's starting to rain. How <laughs> it goes, um, the weather's coming in. <laughs> the, the the green moon is is high in the sky and it's incredibly large. Um and you are making your way into Havendorf where you are gonna be sleeping for the night um, before you head out to Kemper. <laughs> Havendorf is a small village basically. Um it's incredibly rural. It's it's small thatched cottages there's little farms there um everyone has that absolutely stereotypical the old world peasant look about them um there doesn't appear to be much money here there's a lot of there's a lot of farms but it, it appears to be a lot of money and you see um where am i you know it's not night time yet but it's getting dark just because of the, the weather's so bad and as you ride into town um, you see all of the windows have candles lit. Every single window you see has a candle lit in it. Um, some of them have several. Some of them have just one. Um, you also see hollowed out turnips, which are just out on the, the, the doorsteps. Um, some of those have candles in as well. Um, some of them have been really crudely carved into like what looks like a sort of like a beastman face or an orc's face or something. Um, some of them look just like sort of weird grins that are, they don't look great, but they're, they're, they're these carved hollow that turnips hanging and thing. You also see quite a lot of scarecrows um, in the fields. Um, a lot more, you know, there's, there's a lot of those in the fields. Um, probably more than there would normally be. And you see some people like, although the it's starting to rain now, you see people like putting more of them out. Um, and each one of them has dead crows tied with red ribbon hanging from them um, and there's like red ribbons hanging off all of them and you sort of people people give you that like newcomers in the town in the look about them they kind of like look up at you all confused and, like some people close their doors um, and you make your way to what is like the the, the only inn in the, uh, yeah. in, the in the in the village basically um, you can see above the village, above the inn that you're about to go into, um, which is called the Weathered Spoon. You see there's garlic nailed across, nailed to the top of the door, uh, around the door frame, basically. Um, and as you look out, sort of just, just next to the, uh, a little further over, uh, sort of just past the, uh, the inn, is a quite a uh, sort of probably about 100 meters maybe there is a small graveyard there um and you see someone going around and placing something like a, like a small metallic object on each of the graves there there's only about 30 graves there that you can see um but someone is placing like a small metallic object on each of them um you also notice that all of as you all of the horses in town have got hoods on um so they're completely you can't they basically can't see anything that they're they're, they're, they're they're not like tied on but they have like you know like a falcon hood basically but the horses have those on um really? yeah it's it's a it's a creepy place um it's you you might have seen i mean helmet you've probably never seen anything like this like being from yeah, the cities i imagine i can get the idea that what the fest was for but it's all a bit sort of banjo twanging for me yeah it's uh, Namaya, you might have seen something like this before, um, but it's this is like all villages have their own customs when it comes to um, Geheimschnacht. Most of it is like staying doors, lock the door, don't go out. 
that's pretty much it. But, you know, there's a lot of warding goes on. There's a lot of superstition in the Empire. Um, but, Rold, it's up to you if you've seen stuff like this before. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty unusual. Um, you don't feel like, you don't feel under threat here, but it's, it's a big difference from Owl's World where you've been. It's also, it's a huge difference from Kemperbad despite it not being particularly far away, it, you know, it's very, very like hills have eyes here, basically. Um, yeah, and you come to the Weathered Spoon where you know you're staying. And like someone rolled, someone ties up your horse. There's a like, like the little wagon that the, the, uh, the, the, the rest of you sort of were taking it on from the Deesdorf. And the, the like, the, the horse, horse? What's like a horse valet? Does that exist? Anyway, he get a little token. Just, yeah. Yeah. he like looks up at you, rolled a sort of. He's doesn't look particularly healthy, like a young boy, like fifteen, sixteen, maybe, but looks quite malnourished. Like, would you like a oh, hood for your horse, sir? He like it means they won't scare in the in the eve. Very well, then, young man. He like. Puts the hood, the hood over the horse. The horse goes apeshit. Um, <laughs> Trash his face. Um, <laughs> and um, you kind of like ushered in. He's like, quick, sir, the, the evening's coming, sir. You need to, to make, make your way inside and try to get your bag, sirs. He like tries to drag stuff off. <laughs> And the door opens to the, the, the inside of the weathered spoon. It's pretty empty in there. There's like an old guy sitting in the corner, nursing his, he's nursing a tankard. It looks like he's probably had it there for quite a while. Um, he's, he's very clearly like, he's not got a lot of money, probably not spent very much money. Um, he's sitting in the corner and then there's, there's like a, a young couple who are in the other side. They're having like, they're having like some bread and some cheese and stuff, and they look like they're 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 getting on all right, but it's, it's they're not sure they should have come to this this place. They probably could have gone somewhere else, but it's busy. Everywhere's busy at the moment, so like they thought they'd come here first. Um, and behind the bar is a, uh, a, a just an older woman. She's like she's sort of washing her pot. She's like, and she looks up at you like a sort of slightly too big eye, not mutant big, just looks a bit too big. Like within the realms of weird peasant big. Um I just like Yes. We have rooms reserved. Names. Uh, how much Snyder? Oh. oh from Deesdorf. Well, it's all paid for. Um do you want your gruel now or in the morning? We've we've eaten already, thank you. Fair enough. And she's like, she's sort of already ladling a bit out of like a pot that's sort of behind oh, the bar. Oh, yeah. She she like like just slops this like bowl out down and sort of pushes it to burp. And it's yeah, it's it's all right. It does sort. Of, it tastes all right. It just looks absolutely dreadful. It's grey. Why is it grey? That's not the colour food should be. Why is it grey? It tastes all right though. It does taste quite nice, but it is grey. Um, and she said, I'll, "I'll lead you to your room, sirs." And she like claps, and the boy from outside comes in and sort of shows you up to your rooms. The it's... hot bars have been drawn. The what, sir? The hot bars are they already drawn? And I'm like, There's... <laughs> she goes. <laughs> Oh yes, sir. Of course, of course, sirs. The trough's out back, and she like she like, points out back, and you can just see like a pig drinking from a trough. <laughs> He's sucking like, away. Big but... hot water before. <laughs> the pig just drinking from the trough, but then there's like a little shelf above it that looks like it's got like a like a a bar of like wax on it or something, <laughs> and, like just about. And there's like a little cloth there as well. Um, it's like, yeah, it's, if you you're more than welcome, sirs. It's it's you, you won't drink it all. And she laughs. <laughs>, <sort of> like she... <laughs>, 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 <laughs
<laughs> and you're sort of led up to your room. Um, it's a very simple room. It's it's like there's two ro- there's two rooms. You you, you can share. Well, you got two rooms. Fine, you can share. There's, there's twins as well. It's not doubles. Um, but they are just like straw mattresses on the floor, basically. Um, they're, they're they're surprisingly co- it's like surprisingly good quality straw, if that such a thing can exist. <laughs> so it is actually quite com- it is actually quite comfortable. Um, but it is still like some straw on the floor of a crappy fucking inn in this backwater town and she lets you in and you can see that you can hear the wind starting to pick up outside you can see people lighting ca- you, you have like a little well, little shuttered windows that doesn't quite shut all the way and it's just sort of flapping a bit and it's banging a little bit um and she she the boy comes out. He goes, I, "Um, candles for the dead, sir. Do you, do you want some candles for your dead?" Yes, he gives you a couple of little candles. Um, and he just says, "We have got a couple of a couple of turnips left. If you want to carve a couple, sirs." Okay. And he gives you a couple of turnips. Um, and as he does, he makes the like he sort of does a little sigma sign across his chest, and and he sort of scurries back down. You are currently in Havendorf. It's pissing with rain. It's getting dark, and Morsleib is high in the sky. Don't like this. That's well, good. let us find some ales and try and sleep through this night. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell ghost stories, no? <laughs> you can tell ghost stories if you want. Um, it was a dark and stormy night. There were four adventurers sitting in a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in a bedroom. Um, all right. It's, 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 you can, yeah, if you want to just go and spend some time downstairs drinking or whatever, just get drunk through this. It's up to you. What would you like to do? I think there are definitely some drinks involved. Yeah, the amount there going. I'm not sure if to get absolutely mortaled so that I don't see anything or there's so many bad omens do you know the last time we stayed in the inn like this it worked it didn't end well <laughs> it didn't end well oh yeah like, hey, you stayed, a... that, that was a little like coach house this is a proper inn no it, it's okay which i think nice <laughs> maybe maybe i shouldn't get drunk because last time it was only the prophecy dream that saved us from that horrible chaos wolf well, yeah, getting your face bitten off yeah yeah i just need to get drunk enough to call this woman's bluff on the trough so Okay, well, I'm going to try and make Jacob from a turnip. Okay, do a, uh, I don't know, just do like a dexterity check or something. Okay. See if you're, no, do you know what, this is how nice you're going to be. A fellowship check. <laughs> See how nicely you carve this thing. I rolled a 20. Oh yeah, you, do you know what, if you said to someone this was a young, uppity, definitely a LARPer, this is what he looks like, and you showed him the turnip, Probably mm-hmm. it'd be all right. Like you probably would have had to see him to know him, but <laughs> like, like, maybe he got carved like two short swords onto it as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuck the little, like, stuck little like bits on the end of it. Cocktail sticks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I've tried to make the back into his lovely brand new cloak that he never shut up about. And that, yeah, he, loved, he loved that cloak. Shame give stuff. it to that kid that saw us to our room. Tell him it's a prophecy. That will creep out. Well, I don't think tonight's the night for me to be faking prophecies. <laughs> like, I just get that feeling. <laughs> Give it to the kid. Quit the hell out of them. I grew up somewhere like this. They're all a bit weird because it's boring as hell. That's all. Nothing happens all year round. So they do these weird and wonderful festivals. They have all these odd beliefs. Well, best thing to do is just give them something to talk about. Is you getting naked in the trough like the most exciting thing? Yeah, honestly, yeah. if I if I get in that trough tonight, which I'm planning to, I I'll, they'll talk about <laughs> it in 15 years. Oh, you could stand on the top of a hill and do this dance with some leaves. That's after. You can hear outside, like, as you're talking, you can hear, like, children giggling outside. You can just hear, like, little children giggling outside. And you hear, like, boo! Ah! Like, they're running around. And then you can also hear, like, a boo! Outside. Okay, it's tempting to scare the children, but I won't. 
Um, and then, like, you, you know, the cup, you hear the sort of like the shit door downstairs, which is loud when it bangs closed. You hear that go a couple of times. Chill him. Just chill him. Like, Liam I is so on edge. He's like, I'm just a chill here. Yeah, you won't, you don't feel great. <laughs> of everyone here, you probably feel pretty on edge. Um, so well, you, you hanging out in your bedroom or you going back down to the main bar, sort of <laughs> the main bar? Like, Maybe out of the bar, I think. Get to the VIP bar. Oh, get to the VIP, yeah. Well, Neil Meyer, is it colder in this corner of the room than, than the others? Like, but just don't start me off because I will start seeing and feeling <laughs> stuff that is probably there that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and then I'll worry some more. Not I great. think the night is just going to be low-level harassing the Maya, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I just get a chill in this corner of the room, near this bed. It's weird. Oh, is that because you're by the window? No. <laughs> the window's flat, like banging, flapping. You can hear the rain picking up outside again. <laughs> can someone shut the window properly? You hear like a... You hear a... <laughs> outside. You then? Let's get down the stairs, eh? Yeah, let's go to the bar. Yeah. You go down to the bar. The old guy's still there. He doesn't look like he's actually drunk much more. It's been about an hour, probably, as you're sort of unpacking. He hasn't actually had a lot more of his of his drink. He's he's really nursing it. Like you can see, he's got a couple of like brass on the table. It does that doesn't seem to have gone down either. He's got the same amount of brass, and he's really nursing his drink. Um, the young couple have gone. And look, they had they probably had like garlic bread, maybe. Like there's a little bit, there's a little bit of garlic bread left on the side. Um <laughs> uh, you can see there's like a really scratty little dog now that's like curled up by the fire, but it's one of those like it's got it's got its like teeth missing, its tongue sort of hanging out a little bit. It's probably like it's a nice little it's a little dog, but it's like you can see it's chewing on something and it looks like it's just chewing on like a bit of, like a fish. It's just chewing like like, the, like a fish carcass, basically, just like snuckling away out of fish carcass. It looks up at you like this little fish hanging out, it's got a tail hanging out of its mouth, and like goes back to chewing it. Um, and the bar major says, oh, you're right, Jen, do you want your gruel now, boys? Yeah. And she like, slop, grey, hands you it, slop, helmet, hands you bowl of grey slop, it's good. gold. <laughs> it looks awful. You can't tell what's in it. I don't but it. she sort of just look I can get you some bread to go with it, boys, if you want. And she just pulls out this like she puts it on the table and it just goes kung and it's just hard, <laughs> like sort of <laughs> all right. You sure oh, okay, but it's all paid for, boy. I don't want to do do you out of what you what you're owed? But if if you're fine, um, oh, yeah. uh, just uh, just four ales, please. Oh, God, four four ales, and you just like she she gets the tank, and you, you just hear like prop. <laughs> there you go, sir. Plop. It's it looks like it sounds like it's not pouring out, but kind of like. It's thick and it's sort of sludging out. But she had you these four ales. She, there you go, boys. Um, you, 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 Sigma protects from 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 the moon of the sky, and she clanks like a drink. She chugs it like she just <laughs> knocks. She knocks her one back. She's like bang. Copy it, bang. Yeah, <laughs> it is strong. Like it is. It, it's like you've just done a. Try to think what it might be like. Bottom it's like a Henry Westerns. You've just you've just <laughs> chugged a Henry Westerns like eight point two, bang, straight down. Thick though, like sort of syrupy, sort of syrupy. You know, like like a cheap soup, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like cup of soup. Yeah, like, 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 like yeah, a export. Yeah, yeah, it's like a cup uh... of soup. It's, it's it's a bit too thick to be chugged, but you did, and you. How you feel is up to you, but for now you don't. It was ooh, sort of again quite tasty though. Uh, I've had worse. 
it's like they've sort of they've nailed the flavour, but not the texture. Like they're just not <laughs> have one or the other. Went yeah. The but you know, you, you see someone else come into the tavern, um, and I, I like a, a, a another like another old guy comes in. He sits down like he sits down with the other old guy, and they ch- they don't say anything. They just sit there. He motions to the bar. She brings over. A, she brings him over a tankard of whatever it is, and they like. They just sort of look at each other and then just to sort of nurse their pints, don't say anything. Um, it's getting dark now. It's it's like she's lighting a few more candles in the in the bar. Um, and just out the windows, you can see outside, you can see people are like going into their houses and. Oh well, yeah, you can see them going to the houses, closing their doors. You don't really see anyone outside in the in the in the village anymore. Um, and she bars, she closes the. Uh, I say she looks at her watch. Hang on, watch. She like looks outside of the sky. It's like, and she like goes over to the window, closes it, bars it, and then like she actually gets a chain from under the the bar and wraps it like the top corner of the window. In like a, a cross across the window, basically like chains the windows shut. Um, and she says, "Like you boys, are, you're not going, planning on going outside, are you boys? Not tonight, because I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the chains up. So you know, that bath. Well, you better hurry up." She goes, I, I, "I'll leave the back open for another, well, this much time, as if that means anything." She <laughs> just says, "She says this much time." Time, okay. Uh, I'll leave it over this up to, if you want to go and have a bath, don't worry about old Wilbs. He's he's friendly, he's friendly enough. But you have to worry up. Right, fair enough. I'll I'll get up, chin another drink. Make a uh consume alcohol check. Is that a thing? Yeah, it is, yeah. I am not drinking much tonight, I have decided. I'm like one of those old men. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That, that, that there's a, there's probably a reason they're nursing their pipe. It's not just because they're in weather boots. I'm a... I failed by five degrees with a critical. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 ah, you got the Jim Badir. Okay, rolled. You are. How, how much have you had to drink? Well, I presume it's just a pint sort of thing, wasn't it? So it's strong. It's, well, yeah. It's... It's strong and it's clearly not to your liking because you are very quickly pissed. <laughs> nice. I failed by three degrees, so I used to fight and passed. Okay, so you you're not pissed, but you're, you're feeling it a bit, but you're not you're not too well. I don't want to drown in the bar for being by a pig. So <laughs> rolled, however, is shit faced. He's had one like he might. It rolled might have got like the end of the barrel that had it all like the fucking the <laughs> syrup. syrup and stuff in the bottom. <laughs> so he got way too much in there. Three D. Rolled is very visibly drunk. You know what, rolled? You feel quite bold. Bold roll. You yeah. you feel like you feel fucking good. You're like, yeah, this is all right. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, helmet, you had a you had a pint, yeah. I did. Let me see, seventy one. So I didn't crit fail, but I'm like, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're you're feeling you're feeling it a little bit. You're not you're not pissed, but like you're feel, you're feeling it a bit. Like you you certainly feel like what would be real life like three pints in maybe. Yeah. I'm so right, you're that's, that's perfect. Finish this pint off, bed. Yeah. Rolled. Uh, yeah. Rolled doesn't rolled doesn't want to go to bed. No. Like he does Hooray! not. He does not. He basically, he's in, he's he's in a weird town. He's on he's on holiday basically still, and he thinks the turnips and melons. He think he's seen this. Uh, the li- like the little dog comes over to you. You're, you're like, <laughs> Rold's having a great. Rold doesn't work bad. He, he orders. Rold orders another drink. I think. I, I like I say to Berth, I was like, we were all like being serious and in charge for the whole time we're away, and this is then what happens afterwards. I oh, see some glass of steam. Just no, it's okay. fine. I say, mm-hmm. taking a very little sip. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> it's very strong. Um, yeah, Ad, you're having a bath. You have your bath outside, and 
the, the pig comes over, and you know what? The pig's the pig's got it's got a nice little bristly nose, yeah. and it just sort of like sort of nudges you, back, sort of scrubs your back a little bit for you. <laughs> it's a little little pig. Well, it's quite it's quite nice. Burn down a free bar. Yeah, he's obviously the pig. Obviously knows what it's doing. It's like just sort of scratches your back a little bit. Yeah, it's not like, just a little. There we go. Um, it's cold though. It's cold bath. Yeah, it's hot. It's cold bath, and it's got like little. There's like a, there's little. There's apples in it, and you can see some of the apples have got like a little. Like they've, they've obviously got like sort of small human bite marks taken out of them. Um. But there's a couple of apples just like bobbing around in, in the bath. It's quite it's lovely. <laughs> this would be how they make the beer. Could be. <laughs> With apples. Mm. Mm, nice <laughs> apple beer. Bath water. Um it's pretty dark by now. It's 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 you know, you've had a few drinks, you've nursed your drinks. Um uh, you can't see anyone outside. She is she's passed out behind the bar. <laughs> So she's basically left the back door open. She's chained the window shut. She left the back door open, and she's—you can see she's passed out behind the bar. Big smile on her face, like half eaten. Like the bread, she's like tucked into the bread a bit, and it's like sort of just sitting on a like just hanging like crumbs all down her. Um, and then you hear a very high pitched scream coming from what would be behind the tavern so sort of a, a bit away from where you are Ed. and it's not like a kid scream it's it? not like a kid scream no it is a it is a scream of terror no, all right, well, sorry to cut this short get up and get the <laughs> <laughs> just, just try getting to come along with you guys Come on, we're we'll like Joe, and you've got like a bundle of clothes in front of your junk. And, like, yeah. like I'll pop back in and be like, "Do you hear that?" Joe, you know what? Roll, rolled weirdly. Rolled so pissed, he did hear it. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm not going to make you roll perception. You did hear it. <laughs> um, other you two, just, just roll perception. The other two, it's up to you whether you heard it or not. I did, Albert, I did hear somebody it. laughing. Somebody laughing. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, two degrees of success. Yeah, then you also heard this very loud scream of terror. The um, the old guy who is like nursing his pint and his mate, they look at each other and they kind of push their chairs back against the wall and like pull the table back against the wall and they just look down basically and just like look at their pints and just kind of. You see them like making little sigma symbols across their chest, and you see them just like like they're visibly very scared. <sighs> Suppose we should go and do the good thing, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'm going to run upstairs and get my quarters there. A bit more dressed than this, and get some boots on. Just um, the boots. Just the boots. <laughs> and a bell. Um, Let's bring the dog. The dog is whimpering under the table. It is very scared. Pig isn't though. <laughs> pig wasn't too bothered actually. He followed me in. I hope so. The pigs, a uh, pig's like lapping away, lapping away at the bath water. Didn't seem too bothered by the sound. Starts chomping on one of the apples. Um, what do you guys want to do? It is not right, just so you know. It is not like uncommon for people just to not go outside and for weird shit to happen. So if you do want to just stay inside, what that's. Also entirely okay, but because uh, weird shit doesn't really happen. It's always fucking superstitious nonsense. Okay, I'm, a I, I'm quite excited about going outside. I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna it's, try and grab my grab my old, yeah. I'll pick up my sword and scabbard, start swinging the entire thing about. Yep, you immediately I'll push him out with my quarter step <laughs> out the door, so it's safe with my swinging sword about. Rolled just immediately like his sword just goes flying out into the trough. <laughs> <laughs> the pig like startles and like run like Wilb startles and fucking like you hear eep, 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 eep. pig noise he squeals off into the distance like Wilbs runs off into the distance basically. 
Right. Since we're together, I suppose we'll start heading towards where the noise was. Mm. It's roughly from where you saw the, the graves. Oh, good. Yes. What bloody graveyards have you got? Makes perfect sense. Yes. Always graveyards, isn't it? It is. I mean, now that Berth, we found Berth and he's safe, maybe we should go back inside and chain up the door. I found you. What are you on about? <laughs> 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 okay, fine. You found us. We can go back inside. I'm okay with this. Nehemiah, you're you don't feel great out here with the, with the moon like beaming down. This massive, ominous green eye in the sky, basically. Yeah, I'm just trying not to look up. I'm a bit like <laughs> the right. Like all of you see this Moors leap high in the sky. It is it's quite intimidating. It's a huge, glowing green chunk of rock in the sky. Um, is 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 actually pretty scary. Um, in fact, yeah, everyone make a call check. Cool. Just um, you 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 just do a plus ten. It's just, like it's it can't the moon can't hurt you, right? So it's plus ten. Yeah, well, that's big. Um, <laughs> I'm letting these guys go ahead. I didn't crit fail, but I failed. Three degrees yeah. of failure for me. I passed, but no successes. Rolled passes, right? Because rolled is pissed, so. You're, you, you're, you're immune to fear while you're pissed. So. Three degrees of success. Okay. So My, uh, fear goggles of uh, reducing fear. Um... I, I think there is actually, I think if, if you are inebriate, you don't suffer like the fear thing. Ah. So anyone who failed, you're actually scared out here. Like you're, you're all your role, basically the mechanical effects of your role is going to be minus 10. Cool. But you are like, it's bad out here. And actually maybe the moon can hurt you. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm letting these two, like, go ahead. Like, yeah. Well, you're a city boy, aren't you? Like, you've probably... It gets to get much now. You just close the door and go to bed. Whereas now yeah. you're out in the fucking Yeah, now, now I've stepped outside the pub. That moon's really fucking large. <laughs> yeah, and you were like, nothing weird happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are you doing? Are you heading towards the graveyard? Are you... Well, the, well, it's not a graveyard. It's just some graves. I'm basically looking at Raoul because I feel that I'm nowhere near strong enough to get him back inside. If he's charging off without his sword to the graveyard, I should probably follow. All right. Which he clearly is. Um, so you can see towards the graveyard, there are, as you go through, that it's it's not like a proper garden of moor. It is just some graves that are dug, basically. And uh, you can see each of them has a coin placed on it so every single grave has a, a silver coin gra- placed on it um and you can they're, they're, they're very slight the reason you can see them if through this like fucking torrential rain and, and shitty weather is that they're the they're reflecting the light of the of moore's leave so they're all so, so, they look like a sort of glowing green but they're just reflecting the light a little bit so you can see every single grave has this on and as you get a bit closer um you get in there you hear another scream from further off in the distance, just on the edge of the woods, basically, where the forest, where the, where the, the, the meet the forest. You hear another scream from deeper off in there. It is again a scream of pure terror. Are we on? Sounds mm. like someone's up and over you, doesn't it? Um, everyone, do a perception check. Rolled, you're at minus 20 because you're very drunk. I'm going to spend one of my six fortune on that. Six. Six fortune? Well, you got what you got four normally and then two for the lucky seal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Failed. I failed by a lad. So, does the minus 20 take it off your skill or you're taking it off your dice roll? It so if take... I was needing to hit 50, am I instead needing to hit 70? No, you need to hit 30. It makes, yes, your, well. it makes your skill 20 lower. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. just a normal roll. <coughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. And yes. I just passed. Okay. <sighs> so as you, you hear the squeak and you sort of look towards where it is, the clouds part a little bit and it just makes it a little bit lighter where you are. Um, and you see about only about 10 foot in front of you, um, 
someone lying on the floor. I don't see them. <laughs> this is possibly the worst failure aside from a critical I've ever had. Just failed by eight degrees. I mean, you 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 don't give a shit. You've heard no. the scream. You're like, what? But you, you like it's also you're absolutely smashed. It's pissing it with rain. <laughs> Um, but Paul, you see a you see someone laying on the floor next to one of the graves. Okay, I'm like, shit, there's someone in there. They look injured. And I run over, start running over. Mm. Um, as you see them, um, they are just laying there, like just sort of as if they were like holding something, but there's nothing in their hands. They are very dead, and they look they look probably about 20. They look quite young, apart from the fact their hair is completely white, and they are as stiff as a board. Any visible injuries? There is uh, not that you can see. Mm. Well, we don't know what we can do here. Can yeah, I um, figure out what, what they died of, like, quickly? Like, you can, well, you can, see, you can see that there is, um, they have a shovel next to them. Um, and the grave has been opened and disturbed, basically. Um, but they don't look like they have any... From what you can see at the moment, it, it, it is... Again, it's pissing me rain. You've just seen them. They're laying there, and they're like... <laughs> this with pure white hair. Uh, I think we're done here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to start doing that kind of... You know when you start sort of slowly... Walking off the direction you want other people to go. I'm still on the lookout for whatever might be out there. I mean, you heard another scream in the woods. Mm. Yeah, that's Ooh, terrible. Wow. Whatever it is. Why are you heading off anyway? What we do? Well, like I said I'm, I'm sort of agreeing with the Mayans, sort of heading to go back towards the tavern. Well, we've not discovered what's out here yet. I don't think we did the killing if we don't solve what? this. Come on. We've not killed anything yet. Well, okay. I, I, that has emotionally blackmailed me now. So, yeah. So we'll, go. well, if three of you are going, I'm not going to go back to the tavern by myself, am I? Might be safe I, in the tavern. Might I, be safe I, in the tavern. Sit behind that dog, he'll protect you. Yeah, that's a nice dog. He'll be, be fine. So what are you Come doing? On. Go. Off the woods. Okay, so just I just want to confirm you're going out just to the edge of the woods on Geheimschnacht after just seeing a dead body with purely white hair next to a disturbed I've, grave. I've not seen a dead body yet. <laughs> fair. You've not seen it, yeah. Fair. Um with a coffin that's been smashed open oh, into shit. the woods. Just just double check in. No, I don't want to. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just. It's on the most, like, on the sort of the most weird night. Of, that's fine. Just want to double check. That's. What, I'm not trying to put you off. I just want to double check. That's exactly what you're doing. Uh, in, Bert's had two pints in a bath. He's exactly. Yeah, it's fair. He's really good. In Pearl's gimmicky Scooby Doo episode of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> it was the tavern mistress all along. Oh, woman behind the bar all along. Um, you head out into the well it's up to you are you heading out into the woods probably fall over a drug gravestone yeah Do you're having a bit of a drunken stay. <laughs> you are like you although it hit you pretty quick because of like the fucking cold air and the wind and the rain it is sobering you quite quickly as well <laughs> like you, you are starting to you're not absolutely smashed but you're still having a bit of a hard time getting through this uh this this thing um you head off to the edge of the woods and you can see what looks like a very faint almost like a faint bluish glow but it's very small it's tiny um it probably just something reflecting from the moon but you can see that in the distance <laughs> This is not okay. I mean, I, I do not think we should go into the woods. I don't think this is the night for going into the woods, gentlemen. No. 
It's not uh, far even in now, Mike. <laughs> it's not far I'm in. I'm starting to think this is uh, perhaps not the sensiblest course of action. My Excellent. courage seems to be ebbing away. To back towards the tavern. <laughs> I'll look in the direction of the, the thing. I'll just go, Oi! <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't hear anything nothing changes you don't hear anything see no one's out there it's fine let's go let's go back it's up to you you can uh, I've started heading back three people said let's go back I've started heading back already let's go back mm. I'm going to head back but going in I'll slowly plod back behind them. Disgruntled. Kick the corpse as I walk past it. You do hear another scream from in the forest. Mm. <laughs> I pick my pace up. I'm walking back quicker. It sounds a bit... It's not the same sort of high-pitched terror scream that you heard. It is a uh, a, a more... I say more human. That's not the right term because the other one was very human. But it's it's more of like a shout of like surprise or alarm oh. Boom. I kind of stop and look back and be the, you've got the opportunity to be the heroes of Hemmerschnacht here he'll tell this story for a hundred years in this boring bumpkin town what? five people tell the story I'm alright thanks well that lends fucking two people telling the story about everyone got killed whilst we had a pint and went to bed <laughs> I'll let me know when I'm back to the tavern. If you want to go back to the tavern, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you not lead this. You've heard what you've heard. You've seen what you've seen. I'm not like it is up to you. I'm, I'm just you face to bowl. Birth at the moment. Like oh, we probably should, but we should. I don't know. I'm telling Thomas. Are you bottling yeah. it? What you, oh yeah, you should tell tell how much you're telling Thomas. That would ruin their relationship. I'm not saying it out loud to the lot of telling Thomas. See what Elwin does. Like, let us go back to the seven. It's soaking wet out here. It's dark. We won't see anything. I'm, I'm starting to get a hangover. I'm letting you not lead this completely. <laughs> I head back into the tavern. Okay, Tom, you are back inside the tavern. You see the two old the two old men in the corner look at you as you come in, and as you come in, they sort of flinch back, but they notice it's you. You know, your hair's all draggled around there. You've got a bit of mud where you sort of tripped a little bit, but they they, uh, uh, they look at you. Um, oh, we should have rattled the chains of the windows for a bit, and then I've gone right into the tavern, going incoming. Tom's gone in, and. What are you doing, Tom? Are you going to bed or just? Uh, is there a fire going? Isn't there downstairs? There is, yeah. Probably try and dry myself off a little bit, and warm so, up. As so you go behind the bar to see if there's any more chains to the door, the back door, the bar. Uh, yeah, there's some chains to the back door. Excellent. But Namara, are you coming in or are you stand outside? We're <laughs> <laughs> just staring at each other in the rain dramatically at the moment. It's very, it's very dramatic though. Like you're all like there's like the lights like half across your eyes. You look at each other. There's like you you're, you're sort of glistening in the rain. You've heard a sort of like you're, you're still on the edge of the forest at the moment because you you've been looking at each other like oh should we go in or not? No, do you want to go in? It's that will go to bed, isn't it? What else are we going to do? <laughs> go to bed. That seems like a legitimate other option right now. Bolt's had a few pints. Bert's had a few pints. So he feels... had a bath and two pints. He wants a night out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, this is all your... Look, I'm just here. I'm just try and help. But this... If you don't think it's a good idea, let's just go. Uh, this is an L.O. and my night. Let's, let's go back. Roll a willpower check, Paul. Or call whatever it is. Is willpower a thing? I can't remember. Uh, willpower is a stat that calls based stuff. Yes. Um, I am going to re-roll that because that was not a nice roll, and I don't want to. Oh, uh, I rolled a hundred this time. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that with a re-roll. 
Uh, yeah, so the first one was an 88 and the second one was 100. <laughs> so like, the critical foul or, at, or, or the worst foul that you could possibly get. Yeah. You actually think, Paul, like as you look out into the forest, you see a bird mm -hmm. um, that just sort of where you see the blue glow, you see a bird fly away from it. Um, and you feel like you want, for some reason, you want to go and look at it. Shit. I think we are meant to go and help. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't going to make you, but you just rolled a hundred. So. <laughs> 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 uh. um, this thing that drew you in, that kind of like you felt like you felt, you actually felt like, as if you really needed to be there. Um, but you didn't get, you didn't feel this at all. Like, yeah, Mer Bert thing, but, but Namaya, you specifically really felt like you need to be there. And you get drawn in a bit and it's pissing with rain. You can hear wolves howling out in the forest as they often do. Um, some of them sound like a person doing a wolf's voice wolf's howl like you could there's 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 weird noises in the forest the green moon is shining through the trees and you see a person sitting against a tree stark white hair and they're holding something in their hand and the light of the moon is reflecting off of it and it's making it look quite blue but they're holding it in the hand they are not moving Okay, they're dead, so we can go back in, I think. What is that moment? I don't know, and I am beginning to learn lessons and not look at shiny things. It looks pretty attractive to you, actually. Shit. Maybe I'm not learning that lesson. It does look attractive. <laughs> like, like a actually, your logical brain tells you to fucking go. Okay. But there is something, like, because you rolled so badly, there is something that is sort of... Then I will go. Okay. There's a person just sitting there, and they're just holding a small, a very small amulet with a tiny blue gem in it. I'm going to be looking for other tracks. Bert's not made the connection. It's the object that's doing this. So Bert's looking for tracks. Like, who's doing this? There's nothing. You, you, you saw the obvious ones when people came in. But there is nothing around. Um... Roll a. Do you have like outdoor survivor or anything? I think so. Yeah. I think everyone gets it. Oh, that's a good roll. 12. Uh, my outdoor survivor was 34, so two degrees. So the plants around where this guy's sitting mm -hmm. and the bark on the tree are covered in frost, um, as if the temperature here has just dropped very rapidly. Like they're they're withered and dying as if as if as if it's winter basically, but just in around this guy. I point out to the mind, I'll be like, the plants and the frost around here, it's too warm for that, surely. Now you think about it, you noticed it back where the other body was as well. That's not okay. Magic stuff. Okay, but I'm not seeing anything that would normally suggest magic. Can I go for a closer look? Uh roll perception. over here i rolled an 18 so my perception is 51 so quite a bit of success um yeah you can see very faintly around this whole area 10 like as if like as if it's sort of you know like how steam come uh, like in the morning when the when the water, like the, looks like it looks like everything steaming what's the what's the word Something. but like when the grass looks like it's steaming because it's the morning like mid. Mid, yeah yeah but like yeah that it looks like there's very faint purple mist um coming off of, uh, in but just like so, like some like some flowers there's little bits um it's not like cholesterol one place but there's a very faint purple um 
mist that you can see around here. Um, and it smells very strongly of wet earth. All right, I'll take that back back. Now that I'm left in there, it's definitely magic to you. What do I do? I don't, yeah, no, no idea. Magic. It's different to what, so obviously you've seen like a green glow before. Yeah. Um, this is completely new to you. Yeah, it doesn't smell like the, the pew tree. It's overly sweet green stone glow that I've seen before. It's different. It's earthy. Uh, I don't know what to do. There's been no more screaming. There's no more screaming. I can't see any tracks. I wonder if it's just these two. It might be worth figuring out who was in that grave. What the history yeah. Okay, let's go do that. Right, can you read? <laughs> no, I can't read. Because that's not going to go away tonight, is it? The name on the gravestone. So we can do that in the morning. Who knows? So, so Roald and uh, Bert and Meyer have been outside for like a while now. <laughs> I kind of like I'm by the back door with the chains over my shoulder. It's, complete, wait. it's completely quiet out as well. Nemo, have you got the amulet thing? No. It is still in that person's hand. No, it looks really pretty. You don't feel quite so, like, obsessed with it at the moment now. Now you've seen it and you're, you're there, you don't feel very obsessed. Like... Yeah, I, I'm at the moment, like, I'm not sure I want to disrupt yeah. the, dead, the dead tonight. I might want to nick it tomorrow morning, but right now, on this night, no, that seems like a bad pick. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're back and tell everyone then. Lock the door, helmet, quick! Lock the door. So you just let you just, you're, you're leaving it there, leaving the body, like the other bodies, etc. You're just going back and your thing. I'm not touching the dead tonight. Yeah. Um. You go back inside. Mm -hmm. You are. You look. You're covered in rain, like your very your your feet are covered in mud. Your shoes are muddy as hell. You feel pretty scared after what you've seen. Um, you've just seen two people who look like they have literally died of fright. And as you're heading back in, as you close that door, you just hear that scream of terror again out in the dis out in the distance. Um, and you see the two men at the bar. They sort of they basically get under the table basically um the dogs whimpering in the corner you can hear like a wee, wee of wilbs running off somewhere around there <laughs> does this happen every year and they look at you and they just who can tell what what, what the green moon's gonna bring let's chain up let's chain up and you yeah, put the okay. chains over. You put the chains over the back oh, door. door. Um, I think just, I'm going to go behind the bar and pour us another four pints. Yeah. I'm going to pop upstairs and see, like particularly, like the window, the shutters that was on our room. To see if that's if she remembered to chain that up before she fell asleep. That has not been chained. In fact, the window is like flapping open, and there's yeah. like four and there's like four or five fish that are just in the middle of your room, as if they've come in through the window. Right. I'm going to throw the fish back out. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to call, uh, this is my use of well prepared. Yep, nice. Uh, I knew that I needed a chain. I saw yeah. it in vision. And I'm yeah, going yeah. to chain up this window. No, yeah, you just have one kicking around. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> just do it. Right. That might be my favourite skill in the game. <laughs> it's it's really well. good, isn't it? What is it like? Is it like one's possession? At the moment, it's one's possession. Yeah. It's one possession per level that you yeah. can't take of it. You can just have the little thing you need. Yeah, such good. Oh, I, just need, I think it's such a good skill. I knew this chain yeah. would be useful. Oh, I knew I needed this. I didn't know oh, what for. Exactly the right length. Demaya, why the fuck do you buy this chain? <laughs> no, don't, I don't worry. Don't worry. Game and there was like a, an engineered skill, and you could. You had a gadget, so you had three. You had three gadgets per session, and they could solve one specific problem. So, like you'd, you would just be like, "Oh yeah, one minute." You'd have like you've you've invented a gadget that solves that issue, which is quite cool. Um, there was fish in our bedroom. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was there was like four or five fish in the bedroom. 
now I'm having a drink. I mean, I'd normally shrug that off because like, I grew up place like this and we do stuff like that on nights like Hammer Shack, just chuck fish in people's windows and all that, just because it was boring otherwise when you were a kid. It's quite funny, but all the dead bodies, that was that's not So was that a little bit too far, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a bit. I mean, unless... yeah, uh, maybe, bit, maybe there's better pranks than your town uh, yeah, was. Well, that might be much of... I mean, that's what I'm hoping. If it's more, it might be that much more boring here. <laughs> Maybe it was a strange wind from the sea. I don't know. But uh, I'm not having it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're quite far from the sea, to be fair. <laughs> you're moderately close to a river at best, I guess. In fact, are you even close to a river? Probably. You're in the Empire, so the you Empire. probably are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 yeah, Havendorf's got a river very close to it at the back of it. They could have blown in from the river. That's, I mean, still a good, I like... Know. This is what you just said. 200 fish. foot. Could have blown in from the river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't... it's right. That it's more likely that... it, it's more likely it blowing from the fucking sea, isn't it? No, because <laughs> they're both completely impossible. But in your eyes, head that is a better explanation than a banshee through fish in our bedrooms. <laughs> How does the wind... maybe the, maybe the landlady the just left the fish them up? The fish are underwater. The wind. <laughs> what are the fish doing? It's magic. We live in a magical it's, world. It's a hive snack, isn't it? They're, they're, sometimes the fish grow legs and walk around. <laughs> Get on their I've seen gliders. Yeah, I've seen glider fish. Yeah, if you look at all these, it's those flying fish, mate. They're walking yeah, little it's wings. Just like, just... a leap and got like caught by the wind. It happens. I'm going down the street on a roller skate. Yeah, what, what you didn't see is that they've actually got little parachutes. You, they're, they're like stuck at <laughs> Um, Right. You close the windows, you bar the windows up. It is, the rain is hammering down outside. You hear horrible noises throughout the night. It's entirely up to you what you hear. Um, you don't get a good night's sleep. You don't feel particularly rested. Um, but nothing tries to attack the, nothing tries to attack the house. Like you, nothing tries to attack you in the night. You don't, you know, whether you stay up or go to sleep is up to you, but you you don't have a great night here in the Weathered Spoon. It's you've definitely been in better places. I'm definitely thinking the stables would be the better bet. Almost certainly. <laughs> um, but then the morning comes round. <laughs> it's, it's a town it's a medieval town so it's always a chicken wakes you up mm -hmm. um and it's the next day geheimer snacks passed you can still see more's leaving the sky but it's faded now it looks a little bit smaller than it did last night <clears throat> Then uh, let us get up and go outside, see what we saw. Let's go to it quickly. It is the 9th of Nachtenheim, which is July. Um, just FYI. Um, and everyone has survived Geheimerschnack. Well, I mean, two people didn't, but at least... The party did. It's the next morning. The old woman barkeep wakes up from behind the bar, sort of like just gets up and just starts going straight back into work, like as if she, she just, just as if she, nothing was stopped. She's like, yeah, yeah, fine. She cracks on, adds a little bit of bread, cracks on. The two old men are not in the tavern anymore. By the time you come downstairs, the chains are off the windows, the chains are off the doors. Um, and everything seems to be back to sort of normal. I suppose we'll head out and head to the graves. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um. So there's a bit of a there's a few people there's someone outside, um, by the graves and they're covering it back up because it was it been it been disturbed obviously. You see someone out there that is covering it back up. Um. You don't see, there's no body there. But you see someone who's just like, just sort of, just putting the earth back all over it, basically. Uh, 
any any idea what happened here last night? And he just looks looks at you, it's sort of almost as if you're stupid, <laughs> and it's like, oh, of of course, it's it's Kahama snack. The moon happens, sir. Just keeps pilot shoveling the, the the earth back on as if that's a perfectly fucking that explains <laughs> everything. Um, anything unusual found out here? No, no, sirs. It's, we, we're lucky that we uh the ghouls didn't didn't take this, sirs, didn't we? He sort of. Kind of it's a shame, old old Marianne passed a couple of year ago now, but it's a shame they came for her grave. But I such a thing. Have a look if it's the same person. What? Sorry. In the grave, as we saw lying by the grave. No, no, it's there. They're in it. The, the, the coffin is. You can see the coffin being covered up. Um, right, okay. But the, the you do not see the person. The person who was saw lying by the way, you don't see them. Yeah. Okay. Suspicious. <laughs> okay. Let's go check the woods. Um. So you can see that sort of actually there's no tracks because it's fucking smashing with rain all night. Um, but you can go back out to where you where you were last night. Um, you see the dead flowers around, the kind of frozen frosted flowers around. Um, Paul, you see a very very faint, the same sort of glow. It's very very faint. Okay. Um, but you don't, there's no body out there. This is where the body was, I said to Helmut and Raoul. And there's still a bit of magic here. But a second body. Yeah, there was a second body. There'll be a third as well. There was another scream later on. In what sort of direction? I don't know. We were, in, we were back in putting chains on the doors by that time. Yeah, and it was smashing with rain. Well, shall we head through the graveyard now towards the direction of the woods where we head? In? That's where you are now. You were trying to further in the woods. Come on, hang over. Come on. Um, Let's further into the woods then. See do what I, do. um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, outdoor survival. <laughs> yeah, actually, are there different tracks from when I last looked? Um, no, there's nothing new. Yeah, there were no tracks on there last night, and there's none now. What about the frost? Is that gone? The frost has gone, but the like the effect of it is still there. So like the flowers are still, um, like the flower, the 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 the, the, the plants that were touched by the frost are still dead, basically. I went to say, look, there, there was like it was like frost around this body here last night, and it, it's gone. There was also there weren't any tracks from here, and there's none since. So the amulet's gone, I guess, and the body's gone. So. But nothing's disturbed it, the area. There's no, there's no physical disturbance in the area. Apart from the missing body. Apart from the body, yeah. Like, it's not there's no vanished. Is there like I'm gonna get really get close to the ground to have a look at this mist and see if there's like tracks of the mist leading away as well as in the area, maybe. Um, it just looks as if it just dissipates. How big are these trees? And is the canopy really thick? Uh, no, you're not. You're not very far in. Yeah. There's nothing like weird that lives up the bloody trees. Is it? He says, looking up. I mean, stories about spiders. Oh, it comes down. Yeah. The Reich monkeys. I <laughs> think get powder monkeys from, isn't it? For yeah, uh, oh yeah, it must. It must be. Yeah, yeah. yeah Nolan's got a little collection of little powder monkeys. Little powder yeah. monkeys, yeah. Um, no, there's nothing. You can't see anything up in the trees. It, it, you know, it looks like what you saw last night is no longer here. Yeah. But well, the kind of the kind of the physical effects around what you saw are still there. Maybe we should just admit it is just like any other Gahoma snack. We should perhaps consider getting on the road again. Yeah, I think we just mark that down to time of the year and re next year, remember just to stay inside and get smashed. Or or not be here. Yeah, try and be in a city where it's less yeah. weird. 
Anyway, not a problem. That's boring. Not a donkey or whatever it is. Um, not in front of my salad. Do a actually ads. Do a uh, do your eldest file check again. Oh, two under thirty-ish. Okay, that's more than I'm going to have to come up with more stuff. Um, yeah. Read, read. Yeah. So he's really looking. He's really like. Ugh. It's got to be aggressively so bogging at the woods. Just bear in mind, like Bert's driving forces, he needs to get famous, right? So sitting indoors, being scared of the moon, not going to get him famous. <laughs> he ain't buying it. So the where the bodies were, where the body was up against the tree. As you look at it, you look a bit closer. You know, like you see all the damage from like the kind of frost and stuff around it, and bits like that. But you see that the earth itself looks like it is quite healthy and quite enriched um so the earth where the where the body was actually sitting is a lot more health and you see like really tiny like shoots almost like like the beginnings of like grass already growing there which like that only happens when the earth has been enriched with something so like Mm -hmm. Basically, when like protein or fucking plant food has been put into the earth, um, and that's already happening where you saw that body. I'll say none of you were farmers. We are. The... I've got a bit of outdoor survival, but no, I'm not. I'll just say, look, none of you grew up near farms, now, did you? Look, if you look at this bit here, you can see. Look, like that's very weird. In the, it's almost like it's been manure has been spread on it, and it's had time to settle in. None of the other grass is like that. That's exactly where the body was. There's something else going on here. I'm going to sort of, just my hands, sort of try and dig a little hole, see if there's anything under the surface or anything like that. Um, no, the earth feels pretty, like, it's quite nice earth. It, like, you know, it's like it's soft and it's like, it's not dry. Um, you do see lots of, like, sort of specks of white in the earth as you're digging it up. Um not like pure white, sort of creamy white in the earth you're digging it up. Um, I try and sort of filter some of that out, just sort of roll it in my hands to try and clean it off. And, and is it sort of a white speck, is it? It's just like dust, basically. It's like sort of creamy dust, basically. Um, there's a lot of like worms and stuff in here. There's, a, there's a, like, there's a lot of worms in the earth. But you're you 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 aren't you a, your family farmers? No, I'm good. He's a soldier, but I'm gonna say he grew up in wrong, wrong character. Grew up oh in, yeah, no, that's a yeah, different character. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> he'd be even more useless. He would, yeah. But there's not there there, yeah. That's what you can see. My only other thoughts are there's another there was another scream. Maybe there's another patch that looks like this with the frost damage and the growth in the middle. I mean, I'm happy to spend five, ten minutes looking out there if you want to. Yeah. Someone's yeah. had that this away. Yeah, we can have a look. You head out into the forest a bit more. What are you just. You, there's no tracks. But you can probably, but that, you know, it has been absolutely tipping it down with rain. Like if the weather hadn't been so bad, there might be. Um, mm. But it was very bad. You can head out to where you were going, actually, um, a little further out into the woods. And you uh, do a perception check. Is this everyone? Uh, just mm. oh, anyone who's looking, yeah. Yeah. Wonder Nice. Um, I'm just going to do something quickly because this is slightly off what I had. So, um, I play the five. Play the five, yeah. Two degrees. I need a better dice roll. This one's so slow. Just get actual dice. That would probably be easier. 
Um, so I'm just doing something that's I'm going to try and make work, but I don't think I'll be able to. Um, bear with me. Just right. Um, yeah, anyone who passed, you actually see like a scrap of paper that's just like caught on a bush and is ripped. Um, and it's it's just got caught on like a, a vine or something, and it's it's the only a tiny bit of it. Um, but I'm going to just show you it. Uh, if, I can find it if I can actually find the, the button I'm going to do. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, and it's just like sort of, you just see it sort of flapping. And... Do, 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 do. So the white is the brown is just like where the rip is just so I can so you can see the words of like have come off but the word that the letters there that you can see are what the only like only thing you can see like from this scrap of paper okay so that could be Kemper bad and <laughs> some sort of name Lehman I would think because I can read I think it's maybe no, Lehman spelled with an H would have a G in it, and that's not a G. What? L E H. Lehman. Be a backwards way of spelling it. It's the Empire. It's it's not it, it's not uh, Lehman wouldn't be an uncommon spelling of the Empire. It's actually a common spelling in the Empire. In fact, so, yeah. You, yeah. Okay. But that that you just that is just like what you've got flapping around. Okay. What does it what does it mean? Look like letters to me. Right, the top word probably red Kemper bags, and the bottom name is probably a name, probably Lehman or something like that. Did it, like like it look like it's been intentionally torn up, or um, is it possible to tell? There's no way. That's why I asked how you tell one second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's like you're lucky that it even exists after the weather. Basically, it obviously just got hooked under a bush or something. Mm. No tracks here near it. Nothing you can see, but it has the, the weather. Like the weather has basically destroyed anything that you would have been able to. Like it was such bad weather that if you didn't investigate it at the time, the chances yeah. of you getting it the next day were, were slim or zero, or in fact. Oh my god! What was that? It was a ghost. The game's getting too real. A door creaks in the middle of the forest. <laughs> that'd be well, because that'd be really <laughs> creepy. It's a door just sitting there. Um, that'd be like a nightmare, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But as it is, there is nothing else here. Apart from this enriched earth. I think this is probably as much as we can find out, guys. I think it's perhaps time to get going. The camper bird. <laughs> Um, as as you're heading out, you notice the same where the other body was, the, like right next to the grave. You notice the same effect there, like it, the earth. You can see tiny little shoots coming up. You notice that the earth is like looks more kind of enriched. It looks more healthy. I'll point that out. I'll say to Helmet, what, what? See the grave? Who? What's the name on the gravestone? Oh, we were told the name by that man as well, weren't we? I oh, will. It says Marianne Rolf. What was her maiden name? I wonder. Mm -mm -mm. The, the, the innkeeper would probably know. They tend to know most people in the town. Yeah. Like, and if we spent long enough looking through that forest, we'd find another patch like this. And maybe that amulet. 
Pell, what's the what's the base background knowledge about undead and things like that? Would there be much without specific law? Um, everyone knows that the dead, the, the undead exist, and everyone like everyone knows that the uh, like the dead come to life in you know during Gehemish Nacht. Like I say, no, like they they are sure whether it's true or not is irrelevant. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're, I think your basic understanding is probably that undead are very real. They come around because of evil wizards, and sometime during Gehemish Nacht. Um, but no one has any real idea of like what Different. sorts of undead there are. Or there, stuff. there are ghouls that eat bodies from graveyards. And, yeah, 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 like people. Yeah, I think it's fair. Like people. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, like people know that. Like pre, like priests and more have probably said like you have to keep the the carrion eaters away from graveyards and stuff. Like, it, but it's like it's all superstition. Like, yeah. ha- probably hardly anyone in the empire has ever seen anything as undead ever. But they just know that it's like they're like fairies, like they know they exist, but they've never seen one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what's the plan? What's next? The way hey, uh, the little kitty. Mm. Well, I think yeah, get packed and head off. Yeah, I just want to take a little like bags worth of the enriched earth. Yeah, fine. Yeah, take a little bit of that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got some nice. You got you've got a little part of enriched earth. Um. So you are heading off into Kemperbad? Yeah. There's like there's passage been arranged for you. So there's like a, a wagon that's been the wagon you came in on has been arranged to head out for you. Um. Is there anything you want to do in Havendor before you head off? Okay. You leave the weird town of Havendorf behind and their carved turnips and ravens hanging from scarecrows and candles and fish being thrown through the windows and they're not they're not sorry to see you go. I'm not looking back either. Um, I've lost the, the innkeeper. See that that Marianne Rolf was it? Rolf. Yeah. What was her maiden name? Do you know anything Rolf. about her? I'm interested. Why was her why was her I've dug up or be interested to know her story if you knew it. And she, she says, oh, yeah, well, I know her family have been here a long time, but she was, she was the last of them and she didn't have no children or, or nothing and didn't have no husband. And she, she passed a couple of winters back from, from the rot, but sad story, really. She had no, no children. She had, 14 cats we had to rehome, but that was easily done round here. There's plenty of mouths to feed, isn't there? And yeah, nothing special really. Uh, she might I think I think her lot come up from Nolan or something from back in day, but a long time ago that. Interesting. When, were they a rich family or any unusual trades or just interested to hear the story? It's a sad thing, isn't it? No, oh, they seemed to keep themselves to themselves, enjoyed their books and such like, and, you know, good readers, learned folk they were. But, you know, don't think they're any, any, anything high and mighty, so to speak, but kept mm-hmm. themselves to themselves, really. Well, thank you. Well, lovely stay. I'm sure we'll pop in on the way back. Oh, please do. We got old... Oh, Will has taken quite a liking to you, sir. Yeah, quite the time. <laughs> he looked very <laughs> happy this morning. I think Rold scared him off at one point, but otherwise, all good. No, he, he scares easily, does just, just Will. He's, he's a skittish pig. Um, no, he, he chases for about half a mile down the road as we leave. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, actually, you see Wilbs, and he's got one, one of the little ribbons from the scarecrow. He's now got it like sort of tied like around his ears. Like he's just, like, they're not used anymore. So he's just got nice little ribbons tied around his ears now. He's a good lad, Wilbs. And you head off towards Kemperbad. As you leave Tavendorf, you all just get a slight sort of sense of foreboding. Like just a little 
just a just a little feeling that like something could have happened. You don't know if it's good or bad, but you just get a slight sense of foreboding. <laughs> um, and you make your way to Kempad. What's the what's the music for the trip? Oh well, uh, let's have a think. We're travelling by map, by the way. Quickest way, obviously. Mm-hmm. Go past it. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm up for that. You go through into Kemperbad, where you've been before. It's a, it's. You leave Havendorf in the in the t- in the morning. You probably make a stop over in the uh, the. The little thing at night so you're not traveling by night and then it's another day towards Kempabad. so you arrive at Kempabad sort of midday a couple of days after you left um Havendorf update my little calendar so I know where we are Boop. Kempabad, you've been to before um it is a massive city uh it's a it's it's very different to ours world where you've been very different to Deesdorf and Havendorf as well. But it is a, a big city where you've been before. Um, it is not as busy as it was before. Last time you came here was a couple of months ago now when there was a lot of people looking for work here. But it is still very busy. Um, again, people are kind of... There's, it's hus- there's, there's a lot of hustle and bustle around. There's a lot of people around. Um, you see people like from all over the empire have come here like you, there's a lot of people who don't like their local from here um i'm just getting my little where are we gone there we go um you see yeah people that aren't local from here coming in are you coming to you know you see ferries you see, you see a couple of like effectively taxi ferries bringing people in from around the empire um and you turn up to the city and you see people like unloading boxes there's there's like huffers everywhere bringing stuff in there's also posters around all over the place um for the amber players that you see who are any of you who live in right know the amber players they are famous uh, bards that travel the empire um and there's there's posters around you see them around people handing out leaflets the amber players um yeah, it's, it looks like it's quite busy. It looks like sort of celebratory around Kempfad at the moment. People are quite happy. And it's, it's, it's a really good feel around here at the moment. Um, and you arrive at the docks, basically. Or, or, or sort of, not the docks, you're coming by horse. You arrive at the gates. You're sort of fairly near the docks still because the, most of Kempfad is a dock. Um, but yeah, it's pretty busy. There's people all around. How do you guys want to go about your first sort of investigation into Kemperbad. Someone hands you a leaflet for the, the Amber players. I think so. We don't immediately go straight to the Temple of Sigmar to speak to them. We go and find lodgings first. Where do you we, want to stay? We stay in a quiet part of town that's a bit shit. Um... <laughs> So the areas you've got, I couldn't find my map. I had a camp actually. I don't know why it's um, can't find it. I'm gonna make. I'll make another one for the next game. This where we upset the melon merchants. Yes. Yeah. So you've got the you've got the really shitty quarter, um, the kind of really shit quarter where it's a little bit lawless. Last time you went there, but you know, still mostly okay. Um, you went to the Marienberger woman's uh, tavern. Um, mm-hmm. Whose name was? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can remember it. No one messed with us in there. Do you know what I mean? We just kind of got ignored. I'm just thinking. Do we? Yeah. Just... No, I'm, yeah, I'm on the same page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had, um, yeah, Edwina Jansen, the Marienberger. You went and stayed in her tavern that had the the big giant fish, looked like a massive fish head outside. She was the like heavily burn scarred Marienberger tavern you went to. Um, 
there was the shitty area where the kind of like the kind of poorer area where all this kind of sludge and effluence kind of rained down, like traveled down into it basically. Uh, there was the merchant quarter where you met Marius Werner and um he's he's hard put upon like servant who gave you the first job. There was there's, uh, other, there's several NPCs. How, how, how his kids getting off? Yeah, you've met quite you well. You've met quite a lot of NPCs here. Um, you met the smuggler here, Brock Lehman. You met Andreas Bergman, who was the town watchman. Uh, I think that's all you met here. And it's here that the Lowhavens told me to look into those gangs, isn't it? They were from Diesdorf, but they were smuggling into uh, Kemperbad. It was the Havilands and the... I can't remember what their name was. <laughs> Something else. Yeah. Uh, Havilands and Frankels. They're from Diesdorf and they're smuggling into Kemperbad. Um, so, yeah, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the kind of the bit you've been to already with the with the, the Marienberger one. Yeah. You, you got fairly left alone there. It was a bit mm -hmm. of a kind of... Yeah. And we she, she, knew, she, knew yeah. Before, yeah, she knew what we did beforehand, so that's a good cover that we're not... Yeah. Have, we could just say we're doing the same stuff we did before and not have to explain what we're doing there. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so you make your way there. It's in, it's in an okay part of the town. It's not a particularly rough or particularly shitty part of the town. Um, you see a lot of people taking right you see a lot of traffic going towards the sort of what would be like the noble quarter um and people taking quite a lot of things there's quite a lot of hustle uh, quite a lot of business going towards that area um you also see you're gonna have to go through the shit quarter to get there or, or sort of past the shit quarter because where you come in so everyone do a I don't want to say perception because it's like kind of intuition, maybe. Okay. Like um, a bit of streetwisey type intuition. Yeah, like a streetwisey kind of thing. Yeah, is it like a streetwisey kind of skill around? Like that. Okay, so do like uh, an intuition check. Um, Mark, I'm going to give you plus 20 because of your background. Cool, that gives me two degrees successing. So I rolled exactly my intuition. Okay. Spot. Um, everyone else is just going to be at a standard, like just just flat flat roll. Held by three, one great success. Okay. Rolls check in. Oh, he hasn't noticed on mute. Oh, he hasn't noticed on mute. Yeah. Uh, I failed by a degree. Okay, of course. Um, so anyone who passed. Um, you realise that as you go through the kind of, you, you sort of skirt the shitty quarter to get to where you're going to. Um, you don't see any town watch there at all. Um, and like beforehand, it was pretty slim on town watch, but you don't see any at all, uh, mm. which is fairly unusual. There'd normally be sort of like a, a token presence at least. So yeah, there, there was before. There, there, <laughs> When I was last time here, didn't someone tell me it was like a gang area as well? It was the, was it the Italiany type style one? This is where the Bella, this is the Belladonna's. Um, basically, they 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 were making a move to own this this area. Yeah, that's like some kid down that way. Yeah. And you, yeah, you didn't go any further. But yeah, this is this this wait when you left. This was they were making a move. So you make your way to the, um, the 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 tavern. It's easy enough for you to find board for a bit. You've got some silver. I can't remember how much, but it is for board. But you've got enough for at least for a few nights. Um, she welcomes you, and she doesn't know. She doesn't recognise you because you know she sees fucking hundreds of people here all the time, and it's been months. Um, but she, you know, you sit down, and she she offers you from fairly night. You have fairly decent rooms. It's busy. It's the, the city's busy. Um, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of people staying here. There, there, there seems, you know, people are kind of moving through or passing stuff through. Um, again, you see another poster up here for the Amber players here. Um, but you also see some people like a couple of like work posters looking for um, sort of 
huffers and people to take things to you know carry things around the like basically general dog's body work around the town i'll make a note of those sort of it's a good cover yeah it's, it's, it's a good in to get ourselves in with people in the city um yeah um do a Reichland law check everyone Okay. Uh, three degrees success. Hmm. Oh, I just fail. One is fight point. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, okay. okay, I passed with one degree. Okay. Um, anyone who passed, um, so just so you know, the traveling bards, the amber players, um, they're pretty well known around the empire. They're, they're, a, they're a trio of, of, of players. Um, you have Simone the Yellow, uh, Jonas Grigory, the Varish Companion Kite player, and Daniela Wordsmith, who's a singer. Um, but wherever they, go around, <laughs> wherever they go around the empire, like they're quite renowned because there's often trouble where they go. Um, so towns and cities they go to, there's often trouble crops trouble. up in those towns and cities. Um, but they are very good. They're, they're renowned as being very good, and they're quite. They're, they're supposedly some of the best bards in in, in the uh, in the empire. I, I can believe it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, trouble does tend to follow them. Just so you know. Um, so what what do you guys want to do? What are you what are you what do you want to look for while you're in? Oh, Kempo. So I think we, so we're looking for uh, what is presumably this uh, kind of sword, um, something sword connected with this sword. A sword and two blank circles, isn't it? Was it one blank? Uh, yeah, presumably we didn't know what was in those two other circles, but yeah, a sword at least. So oh, maybe no. we... I'm covering up the aren't we? Yeah. Sorry, you broke yeah. up that. Yeah, we're, we've got to uncover a cult in the city, so we're going to be here a while. Yeah. So we need to check out places maybe that sell or make weapons, I'm thinking. Yeah, or it could be the city guard or something like this. Yeah, something. Stand, or it could be a dagger for thieves. My head went to warrior or like some sort of military thing. Same. Right. This is the place where there was the uh, graveyard to Maud as well, with a priest that I spoke to that understood the site as well, wasn't it? That is correct. There was there was, there was a there's a there's a large garden of Maud here. It's a city, so they they you know they have proper graveyards here. Then at some point I'll probably take the skin thing with me to that holy ground. See if I can Phoebe from Charm to the ship. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry? You don't still have that green dust, do you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> did I know about that? Did, did Bert know about the green? Oh, yeah, I think, you, I think you saw in pocket here, yeah. Yeah, but I think I then put it back, if I remember. Did you flush down the piece. toilet? No, no, I then uh, re put it in the desk to blame. Yes. Um, yeah, you then planted uh, it, yeah. Right. Yeah, stole it when we first killed the guy, but when we brought the witch hunters back, you palmed it back into the toilet you didn't get yeah. taken from. Yeah, yeah. Because I threw a whole bag of it, didn't I, down into the river? You did, Through yeah. the toilet. And now there's mutant fish that can fly. There we go. <laughs> we're that's, where, that's, where the, that's where the five fish in our window came from. Yeah. 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 So, because I was just thinking it was that that kind of led us down the path to finding out about the cult. And I wondered if we then tried to find a seller for it, that might take, cut through a lot of the bullshit of having to search this whole city of dodgy stuff with which there'll be no... I think we should probably speak to the temple because they were told that there were agents mm. here. They might be able to get, get point us in some direction at the very least. You were told there's some in the Empire, not specifically here oh, in okay. Kempbad. Yeah. Ah, right. So we should just get about investigating, I think, and then try and do it as subtly as we can, perhaps. I think that's, that's, that's the plan. So you see, um, 
you, you get you get your rooms and stuff. How do you want to go about your investigating? What's what's what what are you trying to find out first of all? Like anyone up to no good. I mean that's almost like that's almost guaranteed. Exactly. That's burnt out of ideas. All right, let's ask everyone if they're a baddie. Are you a baddie? Everybody. I I still do want to go to the temple to see if they can point us in mm. a direction or give us any sort of names of people of possible interest. They might not, but it would seem silly not to. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. You can go to the temple if you want to. Um, I'm I'm drinking beer, so I'm one in one out. So I'm just going to the toilet quickly again. So good, good plan. Okay, yeah. So what's your your first kind of? I know you haven't you you've got a bit of a cold lead. But what's your first line of investigation? One. Go around asking if there's any cults. No. <laughs> Anyone have any cults around here? No. A secret tunnels under the city. Well, it's a city. There's almost certainly loads of tunnels. In fact, this this city would have a sewer system, so I'm sure that'd be fine. Absolutely no scaven. No zero. They're not real. I love how it looks like sort of undead definitely exists. Skaven, absolutely no. not. No, no. no. The, the, the Empire refuses to believe that Skaven is because that because for some reason an Empire of Ratmen is mental, but like undead, that's fine. Like, all the other stuff, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Skaven refuses. The thing to believe with the undead. The undead is it's the dead walking, yeah, that people know about. I don't think it's undead as in vampires and everything that people are fully aware of. But yeah, the the Skaven stuff is just that's good comedy. So we had some success trying to get in with the local gang, right? So we could try and ingrain ourselves with this Belladonna's. Oh uh, yes, because I can fake the accent. You can. You could. You, you've ah. spent. Uh yeah you know, if, yeah you spent enough time around the sister and stuff so you could you could do a very passable Talian accent. That's something I can do. You don't I speak about some of the stuff. You don't speak Talian, but you could do an accent. <laughs> this could end well. <laughs> just, I am just, a just, just, <laughs> I mean that is oh oh, oh I see you speak it. <laughs> There's the smuggler. He might depending on how sort of law abiding he is, he might know some good stuff. But is Which, a smuggler here? I thought. I thought Pearl said there was a smuggler that we interacted with. The guy who you shopped into the town guard last time. So remember, oh. you you know when you you know when you got caught and you just yeah. immediately grasped him up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. the one underneath the, the bridge, wasn't it? Yeah, Brock Lehman. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about all this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we've got an in with the smugglers because we sold them out here. That was where yeah, the probably... helmet was still trying to be good. <laughs> At least I tried. <laughs> so yeah, we shot them in. Uh, we should go and check on uh, what's his name's house. Uh, who we helped move with his kids. I was going to say, yeah. I need to, need to let him know that he's no. right. He's bound to have He's probably the, he's bound to have links. The whole wife did. Oh. Like how, like this is Paul not also knowing. Like how, like regular are just like random birth mutations, or is it could, could it, or is it more likely that the wifey was into something dodgy? Um, they're pretty rare. Like certainly in like cities and stuff, they're rare enough. Like as you get out into the sticks a bit, they're a bit more common. Uh, but they're still they're like. Mutations are not a common thing, which is why when they do crop up, it is like, oh, this is bad. We have to kill this thing. I say that was one in every like 10, 20,000 oh, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. But it's, it's more, he knew to give the baby to the cult. Well, he I knew think to it's... give it to the sister of the shadow, which wasn't the cult. Like, because no, was... he knew that was a cult. Do you think? I think, it, I think it's worth putting some pressure on him. If he's not, really... he's definitely got some money. Yeah, he's rich and he's connected and he illegally transported his evil baby so we can definitely twist his arm and I think he's known that that's a cult and that's why he's travelled there must be other sisters of Shalia right yeah you would think mm. this place is because well, no, I definitely think that um, 
I think it's legit that what's her name, Francesca, did look after the broken wings. But whether he knew that Martha was a cultist or not, we can find out when we waterboard him or something. I mean, it's not it's not the avenue of investigation <laughs> I expect. I'll be expected. I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, that is great. <laughs> Aha! Well, the GM's not got a waterboarding scene prepared. We fucked yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Jeez, I don't know what to do now. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you could you could go and look around his his house if you want to go and have a look there. Um, where you know where he lives, obviously. Yeah, because I know I might get a sense of whether there is there something magical. I mean, yeah, it could be it could be him, or it could be his his servant that knows about stuff. Or he could be dead. We don't know what happened to him, and we could just live he come with us. He'd just go in and find his like hung himself from the beam in the living room yeah. or something. Like that. Well, he's silly temper bad. We could just move into his house. Who knows? Like... He he came to our sword with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gave the baby over, and then. That was, last, else, that, that was the last. That was the last you heard of him. Rockfort or something. He yeah he left he left the town and went to Rockfort. A business there, I believe. Yes. Well, he, certainly, his cover was the head business in Rockfort. But there's still potentially an empty house there. Okay. I think yeah, it's worth a look. All right. Church first or there first because it's more amusing. Let's go chat to our merchant friends. Let's. <laughs> I'm yeah. down. Um, okay. You make your way through, you know, you make your way to, to the merchant quarter, which is fairly, you know, it's fairly affluent. Um, you make your way to his house. It's very busy. You see a lot of people like, actually from the merchant quarter, there's quite a lot of, of, of things being transported from the merchant quarter to the noble quarter at the moment. Uh, and you overhear people saying that it's, um, you, you know, it's, it's, you know mo but basically a lot of moaning, basically. Um, but mostly, mostly that how much extra work um, Steinberg's um, birthday party is creating. Um, and that's fantastic. You know, that's, that's really good for business in Camperbad. But it's, you know, it means that there's a lot more people around. There's more trouble kicking off. But, you know, it's worth it. So was that a bit about kick people kicking off? Sorry. For um, that. You hear that Steinberg's part birthday party has created a lot more work, but there's been a lot more. There's been a lot more trouble in town recently. Um, people kicking off, but they blame that on you know the the, the amber players. There's always trouble when they turn up. Just one of the things, isn't it? But you're currently outside Marius Werner's house. Give a good knock on the door, I do. There is no answer. We, uh, Nehemiah, can you perhaps look in through a window? Oh, we'll give it a go. I'll find out which window is best for me or Becky. Um, are you trying to sort of sneakily look through the window or are you just fucking looking through the window? Um, sneakily. Okay, roll a stealth check then, please. Probably have to use some fate on this, I imagine. Hey, okay, pal, for this, I have taken uh, our little uh, witch huntery seal with me on this one. Okay, cool. Um, on the nose, 34. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to kind of like try and sneakily look through one of the windows, um, you don't see anyone inside. It looks it, like the, the the quick look you get. It just looks not empty, but it it doesn't look like there's a lot there. Um, is there an obvious way to get in, like at night, if we want to do something a little bit illegal and get in? Uh, you could definitely break in through the one of the windows at night if you wanted to. Like, if you have those abilities, yeah, you you could get in. Someone took break and enter as one of their previous games. Isn't that just like kicking doors down, though? Yeah, get, but you get benefits to breaking in properties. Just yeah. kicking doors down. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you want to come back at night and look around, then the, yeah, you could you could 
you, there'd be some roles, obviously, to kind of stealth away in, but yeah, you could do if you wanted to. How about we go and knock on the door of a neighbour? Good plan. I have anything to say. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Going to be charming. There's loads of neighbours around. On... Yeah, I'll knock on the door of a neighbour's house. Yep. And you have like a little a, a little man so that's Yes, yes, sirs. I am uh, an old friend of uh, people who used to live next door. I'm wondering if the Werners are still about. Oh, we've not seen Mr. Werner in come near two months. He up and went to Rockfort last I heard, and we've not heard anything from him since. No, no it's most unfortunate. We've come a long way then. Uh, do you know if anybody is living in his house now? No one, as far as I'm aware, says I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll be back soon enough, but um, th- there's been, been no one in or out for, for well, since he left, says. Oh, oh well. well, that's disappointing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay, hopefully, sirs. we will return soon. Sorry to oh, disturb you. Of course, sirs. Good, good, good day, and in, in, enjoy the, the, your time here. Thank you. Um, yeah, he just looks oh, sort of waves and pleasant. He's a chorus again, <laughs> and he goes, I love Zinch. <laughs> oh, I love chaos, don't you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> chaos be with you. I mean, Sigma be with you. Oh, no, oh, that is being rambled. You just shake your hand. This is a big tentacle. <laughs> um. So yeah, Maris Werner is not currently home, but his house is, is there, obviously. We place to sleep and empty. <laughs> exactly. This is. We can set it up like the house and home alone for when the baddies come. But he had all sorts of knickknacks and oh. and stuff in there because he had that random statue of Shalia and stuff, didn't he? So he had a statue. Of... Yeah, it was that was shattered on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So there might be actually like a court material. I, I, I would still like to have a have a look around. Yeah. I think we need to go in. Run into his letters. <laughs> Rifle for his shit. Yeah, like an episode of Finders Keepers. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, we found correspondence from that weird baldy wizard guy, didn't we? <laughs> so, yes, we did find incriminated letters. Well, he's right letters. Letters. So if he's been sending the letters, he might. Yeah. I suppose that incriminating letters are way more likely to happen when most of the population can't read. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, you're pretty safe, really, because most people can't read. So, in, um, did yeah, they if, expect Rolden Helmet though? Did they? Yeah, I mean, if you want to come back here at night, reading your letters. I'm looking through your stuff. Oh, you spelt this wrong. Um, yeah, if you want to come back here later on and try, and, I mean, you can break in now if you want to. But. Mm. Yeah, one sec. Um, I think later, under the cover of night, under the cover of darkness. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Who's do you want to do? Do you want to do it in the meantime? Church. Church. Yeah, sounds like a plan. I'm a good religious boy now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's there's, 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 there's several churches of Sigma around the city. Um, there is one kind of larger one that's towards the centre of the city if you want to go to that one, but there, there's like several smaller ones around as well. Uh, let's go to the big one. Okay. Yeah, so you had you had to be, it's, you know, again, you see people like taking stuff to the noble quarters, like there's a lot of yeah. bits being taken through. But yeah, you get to the big, the big temple of Sigma. Um, it's, in fact, you tell me what it's like. What's the big temple of Sigma like? Full of baddies. Oh. <laughs> it's where the last boss is. Oh, okay. You round it up for us. Easy to catch. Oh, naked and tired. Oh, big net. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, cool story, Ooh. guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me what, tell me what the temple's like. <laughs> It's very temple-y. Uh, okay. It contains temple things. Okay, cool. 
and it's quite uh, so big. yeah it's quite big for a temple but it, it, it's uh made of stone what type of stone what color kind of a pinky granite yeah i like that sort of, like sort of salmon color well not, not not quite salmon color but nearly okay that's fine well like what like Haddock, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's got okay. a haddock color, yeah. so, sort of, sort of haddock colored temple, like a, okay, turbot kind of color. Oh, yeah, turbot, yeah. turbot's good, right? Fine, um, yeah, th- th- there's priests there, like it, it's 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 fairly standard colored temple. There's priests there, they're attending to things, they're they're doing a bit of praying, they're polishing hammers, um, that's what they're doing, Temple of Sigma, and they looked at. Uh, they don't really give much notice as you come in. You just kind of have to go about their business. Um, well, I guess we should uh, go in. I'll do a little pray. Do a little kind of. Oh, they look to you that. Find, find an altar. Do a little. Do, do a little pray. pray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sigma. Like good little pray now that I've got law religion. Yeah. I don't actually know what I'm doing and stuff. Yeah. Sigma and the, the, the priest is kind of like polishing the biggest hammer. Goes, oh, Sig- Sigma, bless you, brothers. And carries on polishing his hammer. I sort of, as he sort of looks over, I'll sort of catch his eye like we want to have a conversation with him. Um, are, there any, are there many people in the, in the temple? Not really? No. Sounds um, like he doesn't want to have a conversation. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, we've been sent here by a, uh, Thomas Becker on business of the church i'm not aware of the 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 the, the, the priest who's a, a an older guy sort of short balding older guy i'm i'm afraid i'm not aware of the name sir so uh, you'll have to tell me more all well, you've been sitting here on on business is there anyone from the what's the hell out character what's the order called it's the order of the so the the actual um the witch hunters have an order name, don't they? The witch hunters are actually called like the Templars of Sigma. Uh, okay. Yeah, they, and that, that's basically what they are. Um, but like every priest is, everyone's part of the cult of Sigma. That's it, yeah. And the order are the Templars of Sigma. That's it, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. 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 Uh, we can't just ask him, are there any uh, representatives of the, of the order within the city that we could speak with? Uh, the, the Templars says, um, I'm afraid there are none. We have not seen some for nigh on three months now. But uh, of course, if you are faithful of Sigma, then we are always welcome to uh, to help you here. Yeah. Any of the sisters of Sigma here? And he looks at you like <laughs> the sisters are uh, a strange breed, sir. We have not seen any of them here for many decades, and uh, we hope not to see any. Uh. Awkward. <laughs> awkward. You get, you get your handbag out. <laughs> Ooh, well, awkward. Fine then. I'm fine. Fine. Might have been code actually. They're all blind, don't they? So yeah. We, we hope not to see any. See that? Uh... Um, but can I can I help you, brothers? If you are here on work from the order. Do you know any good weaponsmiths in the town? Uh, there is um, Barland Hammerbelly in the in the merchant quarter. He's a, a, a dwarf smith of, of some renown, yeah. Um, but uh, hammers and axes are not quite what I was thinking of. Any swordsmiths that you know? Of? It is not. Uh, not really something I'm I'm accustomed to, sir. So I can aid you in other knowledge, but I'm afraid that matters of the blade are not my uh, my area of expertise. No worries, no worries. Thank you, father, brother, sister. Thank you, priest. <laughs> he just looks. You know. <laughs> He's a guy who's not used to dealing with priests. <laughs> Thank um, you, your bishopness. Thank you. And in, uh, in which case, I feel this is a uh, a rather short conversation. And uh, unless any of my colleagues have any further questions, we'll leave it you to your duties. 
and as you sort of as you're about to go you see like some some people like come stumbling into the into the, the temple they're like Wah! they're like really like they're pissed up basically <laughs> some pissed up revelers fall into the temple and you see like a couple of the priests try to like hurry them out and they're like oh fuck off mate we're here for the fucking party mate oh fuck off yeah and then like, like, the priest like just like like the priest like one of the priests is just like a fucking massive got like a massive shaved like probably an ex warrior priest who just like looks at them and they just like yeah fair enough yeah and they like they sort of like, fucking back out and this then the, 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 the priest guy you've been talking to is just like oh, I would be. Pleased when Steinberg's party is over. The revelers have started already. <laughs> they are troublesome sort. He seems quite joke about it. He's not too bothered about it. He seems like it's quite he finds it quite funny. Is this the reason why the uh the amber players are in uh in town? Uh yes, I I imagine so. They uh they probably know of a few coins to be had, yes. And he sort of like laughed a little bit. He seems quite happy actually. He's quite he's not too bothered. He's like, but um it brings Swords like that from everywhere, yes. And uh, you know, once the once the ale starts flowing and and the wine as well, especially amongst the noble swords, it is uh, <laughs> quite the party for all swords from across the empire. It's like I hear um, he sort of looks at you. I hear that uh, oh, I can't find the name. I can't find the name. Good. I hear that uh. A diplomat, uh, a dignitary from uh, Karl Franz's court is coming as well. Yes, so there will be plenty of money here to be uh, to be spent. Interesting news. It explains why everyone is in such high spirits. He's like, but if there's anything else I can help with, gentlemen, I I can. But uh, he sort of motions to that, and there's like ten or twelve hammers that are just like kind of. Like they're they're like the, the statues around the temple. Are like they're not holding them. They've all been like put off the side. He's polishing them. Apologies. Like, yeah, I'm, apologies, Jeff. I must get back to to, to the duties of, of the temple. <laughs> Enjoy what your room in case they ever need to be used. Like he goes back to polishing his hammers. Well, I think I think we'll leave then. A thunderbolt yeah. hits you, you die. Oh, oh. fate point there. That's right. Yeah, fair. You get back up. Well, that was disappointing. I'm not sure you asked the right questions. Yeah. <laughs> Jero... <laughs> the priest, did he? Sure, <laughs> pri... I can get a good sword. I'm the priest of the hammer god, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the priest of the god of hammers. Every day, mate. Yeah, priest of the god of hammers, and I live in this temple. Not really. No. God of hammers, though. Weird, isn't it? He thought the sisters were weird. I bet that's because he's a baddie and they could have sensed it on him. That's my oh, theory. Shit, son. Could be that. Um, should we leave it there for today? I could leave it there. Yeah, seems like a good place. Does mm. mm -hmm. that work for everyone? It does. Yeah. We're, sure. we're, in, we're in Kemper Bad. We kind of have got a rough idea of we kind of know a bit what you're looking for. Yeah. Sort yeah. Of. I think your first line of investigation was probably not the best choice. What, the merchant's not house or the gone, temple? temple. Oh, okay. It's not gone badly, though. It's not gone badly. It's not badly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it somehow end up in a fight or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the merchant's house is probably better. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is quite a nice place to live. We can do like the, the, the inevitable fucking break-in again of the merchant's house. <laughs> Yeah. Um, is that right, everyone? Yes. Yeah. No. Perfect. Oh. Cool. There we go then.